Good day guys and welcome back to James on Fighting. So today I want to discuss journeymen. If you don't know, these are the guys that professional boxers fight at the beginning of their careers in order to improve their record. Because nobody wants to go and see, you know, a boxer who's never fought before or a boxer who's lost a lot, right? So journeymen, I guess the perception is they're kind of like older guys, kind of bums, people who just go in there to survive, don't really take it seriously, just kind of want to get through and leave, get the paycheck. But I listened to this podcast on the George Groves Boxing Club podcast and yeah, the guy interviewing it, you know, spent his life as a journeyman and he said, you know, that they are a bit misunderstood. The general assumption is, as I said, you know, they were bums, but he said, so as a journeyman, you're you're getting paid to lose. So after maybe like your first 10 fights where, you know, you're taking a professional career seriously, but maybe you're just not at that top level, you kind of have to make that decision where it's like, okay, so I'm either going to quit boxing now or I have the option of becoming a journeyman. And obviously as a journeyman, you're paid to lose. you got to think about it, right? If you're a boxing promoter and you've got an up-and-coming talent, if he's right at the beginning of his career, you don't want to be calling up these dangerous guys that are going to you know, knock him out. You want to build him up. You know, you want to take things gradually. You want to go up the staircase. So when you're phoning a journeyman, it's kind of important that you have a losing record. If you have a journeyman who starts winning, well, you're not going to hire him because you don't want your, you know, your, your new prospect to lose. So this is oftentimes journeyman can be quite good, but... You know, they are just paid to lose. He talks about, you know, it was very difficult for him to win if he did ever try and win. And the times he did win, you know, fought his heart out because you have to do a lot to, you know, win as a journeyman. He said, you know, the phones are ringing. He didn't have any, he didn't have any money coming in. If the phones stopped ringing, you're getting no boxing matches and, you know, you've got no living. If you've got a family to look after for, they got no money. So the art of a journeyman is being paid to lose you have to kind of be careful with the bouts you know take take two give one maybe and you've also got to be careful not to get knocked out because you're fighting very regularly you know these journeymen they have you know like some of them have like 300 losses on their cards because as long as you don't get knocked out you can fight pretty regularly you know and they're often the away fighters so they're going away to you know traveling two three hours down the road to go and, you know, lose to an up-and-coming prospect. It's pretty, you know, losing all the time must be pretty hard in your mental state. But I think it's worth giving them the respect they deserve, you know. They're not bums. Well, maybe some of them are, but I'm sure most of them aren't bums, you know. They go in there to... They go in there to lose, but they give these young and coming prospects valuable ring time, you know. You get used to the night, you get used to the crowd, the whole atmosphere of, you know, a professional boxing ring. You get all get used to it. Being in the ring, dealing with the nerves, you know, the smaller gloves, you know, these journeymen are really helping build the stars that we love. So I think it's important to note that, you know, they aren't bums. They probably deserve a bit more recognition than they get. And, you know, think about how harrowing it must be to go in and lose. I mean, I'm sure they do it because they love boxing and, you know, they are able to help these young stars. But I think it's just worth knowing a bit more about them. It tends to annoy me when you hear, oh, that guy's a journeyman, he's a bum. He's probably not a bum. He's probably working class. He's got a family to feed and he, you know, he's spending his career doing a job he loves. He gets to box every weekend, even if he's losing. He gets that excitement of the ring walk. And, you know, that probably means he doesn't have to, you know, work a job he hates. He gets to work a job doing the sport he loves. So, yeah, that's today's video. I just thought I'd um, give a bit more information about a journeyman, if you don't know what they are. And yeah, here's the podcast again, if you want to go and check out an interview with a journeyman. And yeah, that was what really opened to my eyes to the fact that journeymen aren't just bums. A lot of them are very integral to, you know, building a prospect. And 
are the backbone to boxing and they probably deserve more respect. So yeah, comment your thoughts in the comments below and like and subscribe if you like the video. Thank you for watching.